Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Matilda 2. The infantry tank, Mark II, best known as the Matilda, was a British infantry tank of the Second World War. The design began as the A-12 specification in 1936 as a gun-armed counterpart to the first British infantry tank, the machine gun-armed two-man A-11 infantry tank Mark I. The Mark I was known as a as Matilda, and the larger A-12 was initially known as the Matilda II or the Matilda Senior. The Mark I was abandoned in 1940, and then, and then from then on, the A-12 was almost always known simply as the Matilda. With its heavy armor, the Matilda II was an excellent infantry support tank, but with somewhat limited speed and armament. It was the only British tank that served from the start of the war to its end, although it is particularly associated with the North Africa campaign. It was replaced in frontline service by the lighter and less costly infantry tank Mark III Valentine, beginning in late 1941. So yeah, the uh, Matilda was a super iconic, and I would argue probably one of the most iconic uh, British tanks of World War II. The uh, armaments of this uh, tank were a huge upgrade compared to its predecessor, which basically only had machine guns, and this equipped a 40mm uh, QF-2 pounder gun. It also had really good armor for what the tank was, t uh, from 20 to 78 millimeters of armor made it very capable of actually not being penetrable by some of the most heavy uh, German ET weaponry really at the time and really earned the Matilda of the rep reputation of being very hard to crack and uh, a very hard tank to really beat for the uh, German uh, ET weaponry. So overall a really interesting tank in that, that extent and um, I think it's always a uh, very iconic one. A lot of people that like military history or whatever know of Matilda uh, or at least have heard of it. So. Good stuff, and we also have the kind of iconic camouflage with the kind of light blue, kind of, it's like a, kind of like a gray, kind of a blue, it depends on the shade it hits, hits it, and then we have the gray and the tan. So kind of the iconic little desert camouflage type design, which I think looks super awesome on the Matilda, to say the very least. Anyways, before we go and jump in to take a look at the build, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a VIA card request of your choosing. Um, it really helps me out with uh, supporting me on the channel and supporting the work that I do, so I'd much appreciate it to all my uh, patrons. And uh, definitely, if you are interested, feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into taking a look at the uh, build, see exactly what we got going on here, and obviously we'll move into it from there. So starting off with, uh, obviously we have the camouflage. You can build this just in a straight tan if you want to, which we will be doing at the start of the tutorial. Or you can go ahead and choose it for this camouflage on. It's kind of up to you guys, but I do think the camouflage really gives it a uh, different kind of element of, uh, you know, look to the uh, build for sure. So I definitely recommend it. I think it looks really nice and... I'm sure you guys will uh, definitely enjoy it with the camouflage. Um, starting off the front here, we have obviously the front headlights, um, the fenders over the wheels, and the driver's um, kind of section right here. Uh, along the sides here, we have kind of the iconic German, or not German, but British markings here with the white and red stripe down the middle, uh, which was common on some of the early war uh, British uh, armored, armored vehicles. I don't know if they really, I don't think it continued throughout the rest of the war, but... Uh, Kind of, again, an iconic little thing there. As we progress back, we have the turret itself, which uh, came out pretty good. Again, we got the camouflage up here. We have smoke grenades, benchers over here on the left or the right side of the turret. Over here on the right side, nothing much going on except for a spotlight coming off the commander's cupola. And uh, the back here, just a little various detailing here and there to kind of spice up the back here. A uh, external fuel tank, and of course the mufflers here on the rear of the tank and all that. So overall, I think it's a really nice design. Um, I'm really happy with the overall appearance of it and I hope that you guys all do enjoy it. It's going to go great in any of your North African scenes and you can even make it green or something and have it in your uh, scenes that maybe are taking place in, um, you know, France and uh, Germany and all that. So anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first uh, layers, layers 0 and 1. Alright guys, so go ahead and move into our first uh, layers. We have layers 0 and 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go, and go and build our track base. For this, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, another big blocks on the ground here, and we're going to go and then skip a space of 3 over, and we're going to go and build another row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 
narrow brick walks on the ground like this. And this right here is going to be the basis here for our tracks. That's layer zero out of the way. For layer one, we're going to go and place down a narrow brick slab coming off both ends of these narrow brick slabs or the narrow brick walks on the ground here. So it's going to be sticking off like that to the sides. And then come off these narrow brick slabs, we're going to go ahead and go forward with another brick top slab. So again, this is going to be done around to all four of uh, the kind of corners here. From that, uh, we want to go and then take smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a row of smooth upside down sandstone stairs. They're going to run all the way along this space here in between these narrow brick slabs. We're going to start with the upside down stair like this, facing the direction toward the front. So right here in this section and going all the way back here like so. And we're going to go and again do the same thing over here to the other side as well. Like so. Now with that out of the way, uh, we then want to take our birchwood signs and we're going to go ahead and run birchwood signs all the way along the side of the sandstone stairs and also the narrow brick slabs. So again, a really simple uh, little addition here. And we're going to go over here and do the same thing. So just like this, all the way around, all the way down on the side here, like so. Now with that done, uh, we're going to go then grab ourselves some sandstone slabs. We're going to go and go to the space in between these narrow brick slabs. So this is the front of the tank up here. We're going to go and place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs going across in between here. And then we want to take our birchwood slabs and, or virtual trap doors are going to place down a row of three virtual slabs across the front there. Going ahead and moving to the back here, we're going to go in between these narrow brick slabs with a row of three of smooth sandstone top slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and place down two acacia wood slab top slabs from off this narrow brick top slab to the left, followed by a wither skeleton spool coming off of the right here in that space there. And then we're going to take acacia wood signs and place it down from off these two acacia wood slabs. Once that's done, we can go and then take our smooth sandstone and we can fill in the remaining space here on the inside to go ahead and create the basis here of the tank like so. And just like that, we have that filled in and this is what it should look like here from the top down. Pretty straightforward stuff here from the side and that's pretty much all we have to do here for this layer. Anyways, that's it for uh, layer 0 and 1. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number 2. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with here, uh, I want to mention that I will be building the Matilda 2 all in a straight sandstone color, so it's just going to be completely uh, tan. And I'm going to go back at the end once we finish it off, I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate this interior, this uh, camouflage onto the tank itself. Um, just So just keep that in mind as we go through this that uh, we will be adding that on later if you do want to do the camouflage. Um, but I'm just going to be doing it straight tan because it's a little bit easier to kind of go about showing you guys how to do the tutorial this way. Anyways, to begin with, we're going to go and place down another brick stair here to both sides like this. And we want to go and then take our smooth sandstone blocks and we're going to place down a row of five across behind them. We then want to place down an item frame here on both ends, followed by a smooth sandstone block in the item frame. Again, same thing on uh, both ends of this row of five here. In the middle space here, in between these narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone slabs. We're going to place down an item frame coming off the slabs on both sides here, and a snowball in the item frame like that for the front headlights. We also want to place down a birchwood sign that's going to be on the side of these narrow brick stairs. Again, same thing there to both sides. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and start off over here on our left side. We're going to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a sandstone slab. We're then going to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a second stair coming off that stair facing it. We're then going to place down a sandstone slab, sandstone stair, another stair facing the stair like so, and another sandstone slab, followed by a sandstone full block, and then another brick stair on the end here. So it should look something like this here with this alternating pattern. So again, we have a stair, slab, stair, stair, slab, stair, stair, slab, and then your full block and your narrow brick stair. On the side of the full block and narrow brick stair, we're going to go ahead and also place down two birchwood signs there along the sides. We can then go over here to the other side of the tank and we can go and do the same thing. So again, I'm going to repeat the same process. You need to just look over to the other side. It's the same exact thing here on both sides of the tank here. And then we have our narrow brick stair and our birchwood signs here to the sides. After that's finished, we want to go and then take our black concrete and we're going to fill in the space here on the inside here of these sandstone uh, slabs and stairs like that to kind of close it off, create a nice kind of black darkened look um, on the side here. And we want to go and then fill in the space here with some smooth uh, sandstone blocks. You don't really need to, um, but uh, just to kind of close it off, I like to do it just for the sake of making the build a little bit more solid. And then on the back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks in between those uh, smooth sandstone blocks to create a row of five. 
Uh, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone up sound stair here to both sides, and then we want to place down a birchwood fence gate here in the middle, like so. Once that's all finished there, that is going to complete what we have here for layer number two of the build. Here's what it should look like from up above, and here's a look inside here. Again, pretty straightforward so far. And um, one thing also I'm going to show you guys real quick is how to do this banner design. It's really simple, uh, but I'll show you guys how to make that real quick so you can put it on the side of your tank. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move into making the banner. Alright guys, so to make this banner design for the side of the tank, it's really simple. All we're going to do is go into our loom. We're going to place down a white banner in our loom and a red dye um, piece over here in the dye slot. We're going to go and select the line that goes down the middle here of red, so you get a design that looks like this. We're going to go and grab the loom or the banner, put it back into the loom, and then we're going to take yellow dye, and we're going to cut off the bottom half with yellow dye. So we get a banner that looks something just like that. We can then take this banner and place it down on the side of these sandstone stairs here, just like that, to both sides here. And unfortunately, the yellow doesn't work the best with the tank. Obviously, the color is a little bit different, but it's the closest really we have the tan, um, so that's kind of unfortunate there. But you know, that's kind of the best we got. Also, make sure to hold on to this banner. Uh, we will be using it a little bit later as we progress up the build. So just keep it um, on you or somewhere. And uh, just, you know, we want to make sure that we have it for later. So anyways, that's it for layer two. Let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer with layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, over here on the left side of the tank, we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor, followed by another brick slab, and then another birchwood trapdoor after it. Over here to the right side, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of another brick stair, followed by one and two birchwood trapdoors back like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the space in between the birchwood trapdoors here on both sides, and we're going to place down a row three of sandstone full blocks like that going across. We're going to go and then place down an item frame here on the block, a black bed turned sideways, and then a birchwood sign in over the uh, item frame like so. We then want to place down a birchwood button here to both sides like that, and that right there will kind of wrap up, wrap up the front there. From this, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to go ahead and then place down a corner stair. And same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then a corner stair like so. We then want to take our smooth sandstone blocks, and we're going to go ahead and just fill in the remaining space here with smooth sandstone blocks. Going ahead and completely close this whole space off like so. After that, uh, on the back here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some birchwood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of birchwood slabs across, followed by a uh, birchwood trapdoor on both sides, and then one more birchwood trapdoor going back over the nether brick stair like so. We also want to go and grab ourselves daylight detectors, and over this space here, we're going to place down three daylight detectors like so. And again, if the trapdoors open up, make sure you do close them. Now, if you do want to add the uh, fuel tank on the back here, real simple, we're going to go and grab ourselves a stripped birchwood log. We're going to place down a row of three that come off of these um, these uh, daylight detectors. We want to go and then grab ourselves some levers. We're going to go and go to the bottom here of these blocks, place down a lever, and make sure you flick it in to kind of connect up to this smooth sandstone stair. On the sides here, we're going to place down an item frame with a smooth sandstone block in the item frame. So just like this, same thing over here. And we want to go and then grab ourselves virtual buttons, and we're going to place down a virtual button here on the side and top of these blocks, like so. And right there, we'll add that little external fuel tank there on the back. And uh, again, that is an optional addition. So you can choose to have it or, um, you know, decide not to have it. Either way, it works. Um, but yeah, that's it for layer number three. With that, let's move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We've moved on to layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and taking our skeleton skull. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this smooth sandstone block. And we also want to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle on top of this iron bar, so just like that. After that, uh, we're going to place down a daylight detector back, followed by a birchwood button to both sides of it, like so. We then want to place down a smooth sandstone block here in the middle, followed by an upside down smooth sandstone stair to both sides. We're going to then place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a second row of three, and then one block here in the center. We're going to go and then go to both sides of that center block, and we're going to place down a sandstone wall, like so. Now, uh, when that's done, uh, we're going to go and grab our little banner here again. We're going to place it down over here on the left side on this smooth sandstone block. And then after that, we're going to place down a tripwire hook on the side of this sandstone block like that on the left side. Over here on the right side, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to place down a lever coming off this sandstone block right here instead of the banner. And then a tripwire hook that goes back from it like so. From this point, uh, we want to go and then grab ourselves our birchwood buttons again. And we're going to place down a row of one, two, one, two, one, two, like that, going back along the top here. 
And with that all complete, that is pretty much it for what we have for layer number four. Pretty simple stuff. With that, we're going to go ahead and probably move into our final layers. We have layers five, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to put the top of the, basically the rest of the turret on, the top of it, and the radio antenna and all that stuff. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. I right, guess moving on to our next layer, we have layer number uh, five through eight. So our last final layers. To go ahead and get started with this, we're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this full block, followed by a sandstone corner stair coming off both sides of the stair. From that stair, in the middle, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four sandstone slabs like that going forward. Over here on the left side, uh, on this corner stair, we're going to place down a birchwood sign, a item frame coming off of it, and a black bed rotated sideways in that item frame like so. Over here on the other side, we're going to place down a end rod like this coming off that corner stair. Once that's all complete, we're going to then place down a smooth sandstone block here in the middle, a sandstone wall to both sides, and then we want to go and place down a row of three of sandstone full blocks like that going across. We're going to go ahead and also place down a sandstone full or stair on the back here, and then we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull here in the corners at 45 degree angles, just like that. After that, we're going to go then place down a birch with a sign coming off the stair, and a skeleton skull like that coming off this one, just like that. After that, over here on the left side, come off this sandstone wall, we're going to place down a sandstone sign. And over here to the other side, we are going to be placing down a, another brick stair facing this direction. Coming off the stair, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, followed by a dark liquid sign. Coming off the side of the stair, and also a tripwire hook coming off the back of the stair like that. Anyways, once that's all finished there, uh, going ahead and going off the skeleton skull on the back. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to go ahead and go up one, two, and three. Iron bars up like so. On the top here, we're going to place down a birchwood trap door, or birchwood slab, sorry. And then coming off the uh, slab, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate here to the side. A item frame coming off the fence gate, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a snowball in the item frame like that for a little spotlight that comes off the commander's cupola. Uh, we also want to place down a item frame on the center block here with a sandstone block in the center space. So just like that. And we're going to go and then place down a redstone repeater back from it and then a birchwood trapdoor out to the side like so. And uh, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to go and grab ourselves a red or sorry a flower pot and we're going to place down a flower pot on top of this sandstone corner stair. And once you have that all done, that's going to pretty much complete the design for the Matilda Mark II. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It looks good in the tan color scheme and looks really nice and clean. Um, if you guys are wanting to build the camouflage version, we're going to be going ahead and moving on to that portion next. So anyways, that's it for the Matilda Mark II. We're going to go ahead and now move into the camouflage. All right, guys. So for when it comes to the camouflage for the Matilda Mark II, we're going to be going ahead and doing the camouflage kind of um, for the entire tank all together. Uh, I'll show you guys exactly how to do the camouflage I did here, as the camouflage kind of seems to be universally kind of the same uh, for most of the Matilda models, at least I've seen for it, so that's what we're going to be going ahead and going for here. To start off with, we're going to be starting with our prismarine uh, slabs, stairs, walls, and also some cyan concrete. The front here, we're going to replace these three sandstone slabs with our uh, prismarine brick slabs. We then want to go ahead and go up from it, and we're going to place down two cyan concrete blocks in these two spaces here. Now, when adding this cam camo, it's very important to make sure that you replace any of the buttons or any of the signs that do break when you replace the block. So, in this section here, we had the button break, so we're going to go ahead and replace this with a stone button. From this, we're going to go ahead and then replace this block right here with this item frame is on for the driver's uh, viewport here with a cyan block. The sign broke, so we're going to place down a second sign um, over that space like that, and we're just going to use birch wood again. Uh, once that's done, uh, we're going to also uh, take our iron trapdoors and we're going to replace these two trapdoors here with iron trapdoors. Now working our way on the right side to begin with, we're going to go and replace this sandstone stair with a prismarine stair. We're going to go ahead and also have to replace that white banner. We're going to go and replace the slab, the stair, the stair, and uh, we're going to go and then place down the slab and then the stair, just like that. So we're going to go back to the stair right here, and just back at this point right here. We're going to go ahead and then go up from this. We want to go ahead and go up to the third stair, sandstone stair here. We're going to place down a prismarine stair, followed by one, two, three. And then this stair right here is going to be a corner stair as well. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and take our cyan concrete. We're going to go ahead and replace these two blocks here with cyan concrete, two stone buns on top here. We're also going to replace this sandstone block here with a 
cyan concrete block and we can also swap out this wall right here for a prismarine wall uh, once that's done uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the gun here for the gun real simple we're going to replace this first slab here with a prismarine slab a prismarine stair in this spot a cyan concrete block right here replace the block in the item frame with a cyan concrete block and then we're going to place down a prismarine wall here to the right side so just like that and then moving over to the left side so for the left side here uh, we will be placing down a prismarine slab right here followed by a stair and a slab all on the side here we're going to go ahead and stop at that stair and we're going to go up from the stair place down a stair one two three stairs like that so even row four just like that along the side there and also these two iron or these two birch wood trap doors are replaced with two iron trap doors like so and this uh daylight detector we're going to go ahead and turn to the night mode it gets that blue color in there but it also keeps it so that this iron trap door won't pop open Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the blue. Uh, we're going to now move into our stone brick. So for our stone brick here, we need stone brick stairs, uh, obviously stone brick slabs, some cyan terracotta, and that right there should be about it. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to replace this uh, block here. That's in the front kind of sprocket wheel here. We're going to replace this with a cyan terracotta block and also the block in the item frame. And this is going to be starting on the left side here. We're going to then replace the stair that this banner is attached to with the stone brick stair. And again, we can place down the white uh, the, or the banner there again. We're going to go ahead and, get, go, ahead and go up from it. We're going to place down a iron trap door in this section right here. Followed by two stone brick stairs here and then a cyan terracotta block right there. Uh, going up from this, we're going to place down a stone brick stair uh, coming off the... Um, or replacing this stone brick block. And we're going to then take our cyan terracotta and replace these two blocks here with cyan terracotta. Now again, we're going to have to replace our banner and also our trip bar hook like that to the sides there of the turret. Going up from it, we're going to go with this uh, sandstone block, replace it with a cyan terracotta block, stone brick slab on top. This uh, trap door here will be replaced with an iron trap door. And we want to go and then place down one and two cyan terracotta blocks in the space, replace the trip bar hook, and we're also going to place down uh, a cyan terracotta block going forward here, stone brick upside down stair, underneath here, and then a stone brick corner stair like that going up. And we're going to go ahead and place down a lever here going up from the narrow brick stair like that again. So just make sure that gets replaced. And um, that right there is almost done. Last thing we need to do is go back to this section here. We're going to go ahead and take our cyan terracotta, we're going to replace this block here and also this block in the space. And also we're going to grab our cyan terracotta or concrete again and we're going to replace this block here in the middle with a cyan concrete block. Anyways for this section here we're also going to take our cyan concrete we're going to replace these two blocks here with our cyan concrete. Two stone buttons on top of them. This uh, corner stair here is going to be a stone brick stair. And then this birchwood slab we're going to replace with a stone brick slab. And once you have that done that will pretty much wrap up the camouflage uh, add-on you can do for the uh, Matilda 2 here. Um, I definitely think it's a good improvement. Actually, one last thing, we forgot this corner here, this space. Uh, these two stairs are actually going to be stone brick stairs, and then these three uh, uh, basically smooth sandstone blocks are going to be cyan terracotta. And then again, don't forget our stone button right there. But yeah, um, once you have that done, that is now going to complete the design here for the uh, Matilda 2. I definitely think it looks really cool and is a really sick design. It looks both good in the standard just tan and also this camouflage type color. So uh, definitely experiment around with it, see what you like best, and uh, you'll definitely have a cool tank design. And also one thing I uh, almost forgot as well, this block right here, cyan uh, terracotta and stone button right there, or the block right there replaced with a cyan terracotta block. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it for now. I'm uh, for certain now we're done. So anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys do want to be using this design, I do want to you guys give me proper credit for this. If you get anything from the sound of the build, link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any so social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your food is a favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Other than that, um, again, a big thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always down in my video descriptions. Other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.